The countdown to the holidays has begun, and if you have celebrations planned, the CDC has some advice. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins has that and other COVID headlines with three things to know. While some suggestions are common sense and the same as last year, others may not be feasible during a Northeast Ohio winter. They suggest celebrating outdoors with physical distancing and masks. Perhaps possible if our temps stay where they are until January, but that's unlikely. So if you have indoor celebrations, they suggest opening a window and putting a fan in it to circulate clean air. Again, might depend on Mother Nature. Safest celebrations are when everyone is vaccinated and boosted if eligible. If that's not possible, you might consider the virtual celebration for one more year, especially for the unvaccinated. Johnson & Johnson's booster may be getting a boost from the FDA. The New York Times is reporting the company will request emergency use authorization as early as this week. A meeting to discuss is already scheduled for October 15th. J&J's preliminary data showed a booster given six months after the initial shot improved efficacy to 95 percent, on par with Pfizer and Moderna. And if you like checking the Ohio COVID dashboard, some new updates to tell you about. The case definition has been updated to reflect reinfections. Those who were reinfected with COVID 90 or more days after a previous infection will now be counted as a new case as of September 1st. In the vaccination drop down, you can now see how many Ohioans received their booster shot. Previous updates include a variant watch. You can see which variant is circulating most in Ohio, and yes, it's still Delta. Also, the state is tracking hospitalizations and deaths based on vaccine status. Nearly 28,000 unvaccinated Ohioans have been hospitalized since January 1st, compared to just over 1,000 vaccinated. And more than 8,000 unvaccinated Ohioans have died, compared to 146 fully vaccinated. So here's the good news. It does appear that we finally hit the Delta peak and cases are beginning to go down. But remember, that happened last year too, and then we had the holiday surge. So health experts are warning us, please be vigilant. We are just not out of the woods yet. Yeah, and history is often a predictor for the future, right? Okay, so, you know, today the governor's Vax to School program got underway, you know, really incentivizing kids to get the vaccine. So what's the latest there? No drawing date yet, right? Yeah, that's the key. Okay. There is no deadline to sign up and there is no drawing date because hmm. they want to wait to see if kids find 5 to 11 will qualify for the Pfizer vaccine. Okay, good to know. So we have all the information on our website if you want to enroll. That's right. All you got to do, open to Ohioans age 12 to 15. The contest, again, will expand to include those 5 to 11-year-olds as soon as uh, we find out if they qualify. And what's even more important is that when that does come through, which yeah. likely it will, when it comes through the, uh, the first the deadline will be two weeks after that, and then obviously the drawings will happen right after that. So they're anticipating they will begin drawing by the end of the year. Okay, good luck to parents <laughs> and the kids. Thanks so much, Monica. Sure.